Hello everyone. We are discussing the conversion of the Moore machine to the Mealy machine. Let's take one more example to understand the conversion. And let's say that uh, we have uh, the Moore machine given as Q0, comma 0. And then here we have Q1, comma 1. And then here we have Q2, comma 2. So these are the three states. Let's define the transitions also. It is moving with A. This is moving with A. And then this moves with A to Q0. And the B, with all the Bs, we remain at the same state. So this is the move machine which is defined. And this is the initial state, Q0, obviously. So we have to convert this to the Mealy machine. So for the conversion, what we have discussed on in the last video there, wherever the transition is ending, I will take the output of that state and will associate that with the transition. For example, if I'm at the Q0, and uh, the transition with B remains at Q0 state st itself. So the output associated with this transition should be 0. Similarly, if I move from Q0 to Q1, then the transition is ending at Q1. So this output associated with the Q1 state will be the output associated with this transition. Similarly, at the Q1 state, if I take the, uh, sorry, if I take the symbol B, I remain at Q1 state only. So the output associated with the state Q1 will be the output associated with this transition. Similarly, Q1 is moving to Q2 and the end point of this transition is Q2 state. So whatever is the output associated with the Q2 state will be the output associated with this transition. Similarly, B is uh, whenever we take B at the Q2 state, it remains at itself. So uh, whatever is the output of this state is associated with this transition. The Q2 with taking a small symbol A is moving to the Q0 state. Hence, the output associated with this one will be the output associated with the Q0 state. So the output associated with this will be 0. So since we have taken all the uh, output symbols with the transitions, so let's remove every output value associated with the state. And this is the Mealy machine for the given Moore machine. Let's draw the transition table also because uh, this is very, very important as I mentioned to you earlier that along with drawing the diagram, you should also draw this transition table. So here the input symbols are A and B and the output symbols are 0, 1 and 2. So Q0 is the initial state and uh, in this Q0 state, if you take a small a, you move to Q1. Similarly, in the Q1 state, if you take A, you move to Q2. In the Q2 state, if you take A, you move to Q0 state. By B, all the states remain at itself. So these are the transitions. And now let us define the uh, symbols. Those will be associated with these states, uh, with these transitions. So Q0 on taking A. So it moves to Q1. And the output associated with this is Q1. Uh, sorry, 1. Q0 remains at itself. So the output associated is 0. Q1 moves to Q2. And the output associated with this is 2. Q1 on taking a symbol, B remains at itself. So the output associated with this is 1. And Q2 on 0, Q2 on A moves to uh, Q0. The output associated with this is 0. So I have associated this output. And Q2 remains at itself at B. So 2 will be associated with this transition. So this completes the uh, del which is the transition function and the lambda which is the output function and this table will be for the given Mealy machine. So this way we have converted the Moore machine to the Mealy machine. Thanks for watching. We'll meet again with the next lecture.